Um, it's match day. It's match day. I'm so excited. I'm going to the Chelsea Everton match today. I am in the bathroom at Copa Club by Tower Bridge. Just a breakfast, gonna go shopping, and then I'm headed to the match. I'm at Westfield, London to do some shopping now. I have to buy a sweater because I'm wearing like a very thin top. There's so many people and it's so fucking cold out. I just had a very mediocre lunch and I feel kind of sick. But we gotta push. I used to love shopping but I don't know. It's just, I'm very done with it. Everyone and everything is getting on my nerves. I'm very tired so I definitely need a Red Bull before I head to Stamford Bridge. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to keep shopping, but at the same time, I don't want to go back to the hotel because it's an hour from Stamford Bridge and where I'm currently is 15 minutes. So yeah, I don't know. I am sitting on the floor at Primark because I'm not feeling great, to be honest. Don't know why, but... I'm quite nauseous. I think it's just nerves. Um, which, I don't know. I have this like feeling in my stomach that I always get when I'm uncomfortable. But I'm not uncomfortable. I'm like super excited. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared to go to the match. I don't know. Feels weird. Anyways, I'm waiting on my mom and aunt to finish up in Primark. I think I'm just nervous because I've never been to a football match alone and I've been to like my local clubs game but we have like stadium capacity of like two and a half thousand maybe um, I've been to a Netherlands game with a friend I've never been to a Premier League game or any like big club game alone um, when I watch the games on TV, all the fans are like white men who look like they would beat me up for being a woman who's into football. And they don't drink at the games. I'm not big on drinking. I don't like to drink. I don't like people who drink. So I think it's just no. Quality dinner. <laughs> my aunt and my mom are like in the room and they speak very loudly but oh my god 
I don't think I could have wished for a better first Chelsea match. 6-0. 6-0, oh my... First ever football game I went to was my local club versus PSV. And I'm pretty sure we lost 6-0. So now my first Chelsea game that I went to being 1-6-0 is bizarre. It's like the universe telling me you're meant to be a Chelsea fan. And I am. I still love my local club though. But yeah, I don't think my vlog is that long currently. So I'm going to do a little post-match reaction or like match recap kind of thing. Just my opinions about the match. Um, Cole Palmer, perfect hat-trick plus a penalty makes it four goals this match against Everton. Nicholas Jackson scored one and Alfie Gilchrist scored the sixth. Cole Palmer is just phenomenal like always, like even like the impact he's had on this club is immense, immense. When they were reading the starting lineups, like before the game, everyone cheered and clapped the absolute loudest, and it was significantly louder than the rest when Cole Palmer was announced in the starting lineup. When he got subbed off, so loud, people were cheering, people were screaming, people were chanting, they were clapping. His impact is massive on Chelsea and everyone there loves him, including me. We all love him at our club. Alfie Gilchrist scoring his first goal for Chelsea was so incredibly sweet to see. Kind of, it, it was pretty sweet. Um, every time this, this, I wouldn't say kid, but I'm younger than him. Every time this player plays or every time he plays, you can see his passion for the club, for the sport, and it's just so incredible to see. And when he scored today, all of that passion came out, like even more than you can normally just see in his style of play. Um, people were chanting. <laughs> Which, I mean, I understand, but I'm not sure if he actually did. But, like I said, like if he did cry, it's, it's so sweet to see players get so emotional and so passionate about their club and their, and their sport. So, to see his passion and excitement to score for Chelsea, I love it. I love it. Some other players that were really good, Malo Gusto just gets better every single game every single game and so is my favorite player i'm so so sad that he's injured and i didn't see him play today but that's an excuse that i have to come back and watch another chelsea match <laughs> just to see him play because he's my favorite at the club currently who else was good chalaba chalaba today so so good in the last like five or ten minutes of the game he had Everton were attacking a little bit more and they and Chalaba had such great like clearances and everything uh, Everyone was like applauding him. It was so good. He was so good I quickly want to talk about Moises Caicedo today because What a performance from him. He was he was so So good and so enjoyable to watch I don't know if it's because Enzo is not there, but since Enzo is not on the midfield with him, he's been better. And it was like his performance today was so good, so controlled, like good vision to see where he needs the ball to go. And I was really impressed with him today, especially if you compare this performance against Everton with um some of his like more recent performances he was phenomenal today like hats off to him one other moment i want to talk about is the fight 
over the penalty taker. If Cole Palmer is on the pitch, Cole Palmer is taking the penalty. Maroiga and Jackson were so fucking childish for trying to fight that and trying to convince the rest that they should be the one taking the penalty. And in all the post-match interviews, Pochettino said and Palmer said, Palmer is the penalty taker. For, like If this type of discussion happens in the future, they will be out for the next game or they will be subbed off immediately. Honestly, should have subbed them off immediately. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? If Cole Palmer is on the pitch, how the fuck do you think you are going to take the penalty over him? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And Pochettino needs to make this clear in the team. He has to address the players. If Cole Palmer is on the field, he takes the penalty. End of discussion. Overall, the game was so good. It was so enjoyable. I love a game in which goals are scored frequently. Only if it's like my club that's scoring the goals. Um, we kept a clean sheet, six goals. Probably one of, if not the strongest performances under Pochettino. Um, the only issue really was the penalty discussion on the field. That's just the only issue from today's match that needs to be addressed. But otherwise, really strong performance. I'm now gonna take a shower because I'm pretty tired. And yeah, I hope to be back. At a Chelsea match soon. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a longer video or vlog compared to what I usually do on TikTok, which is like a quick day in the life. I'll be vlogging a little bit better because I'll be with my friends uh, and I won't be as awkward as I am right now um, filming on my own. So those vlogs will be more entertaining, they will be better. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my god, I'm gonna sound like a real YouTuber. I haven't said this in so long, but like and subscribe if you want to see more.